गेट आउट ऑफ हियर यू ब्लडी सन ऑफ अ मिस्ट्रेस निकल बहार दासी पुत्र इमेजिन इफ समी टॉक्स टू यू लाइक दिस नॉट इन साइड योर होम इन द ओपन इट्स लाइक इन फ्रंट ऑफ द एंटायर वर्ल्ड और मे बी इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर नेबर्स और योर फैमिली मेम्बर्स और योर इन लॉज योर स्पाउस योर चिल्ड्रेन योर पेरेंट्स योर फ्रेंड्स योर कलीग्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर फेसबुक फ्रेंड्स योर इंस्टाग्राम फॉलोअर्स इमेजिन यू गेट इंसल्टेड लाइक दिस सो वट विल हैपन राइट will you be able to take it will i be able to take it can anyone take it well that's the question but the question is who said this to whom who said this where and to whom so this was said by the great he was the ceo of uh, there was a company called dnc what is that company duryodhana and company <laughs> so imagine there's a company where all the crooks and criminals of the world have got together and now they're planning to do some business right some real estate business <laughs> so how do you feel how, what kind of products they would sell what kind of customers they would acquire what kind of marketing they would do what kind of strategies they would have what kind of hiring they would do so Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology. If you are new, then please subscribe to the channel, and if you like this video, then please hit the thumbs up at the end. And for consultations of your horoscope, you can always go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to Him, and you will surely find Him. And maybe now you need to find Him because we are going to talk about Saturn today. Saturn and insult. Many people are concerned. They are. they're worried they're very concerned they're they panic about saturn so for example saturn is sitting in a particular house in your you know horoscope as he will he would always do right so because of that many people feel oh maybe wherever saturn is placed uh, there is humiliation okay so now this statement that i said in the beginning this was said by duryodhan from the mahabharat to his uncle okay it was not like literally his uncle uh, you could say step uncle but okay you could say uncle so uh, this was said by duryodhana to the great vidur now vidur is actually not different from yamraj himself okay so vidur is a very 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 great personality he is yamraj himself which makes him one of the 12 mahajans okay so uh, the shrimad bhagavatam uh says about 12 mahajans you know like uh, swambhu narada shambhu kumaro kapilo manu prahlado janako bhishmo balir vaya sakhi vaya yamaraj tells this to the yamadutas in the 6th canto of the shrimad bhagavatam that there are 12 mahajans mahajans are very great personalities who are like leaders in uh, the realm of spirituality morality dharma religion and we should always see their life and try to take inspiration and try to follow in their footsteps as uh, the bhagavatam says mahajano ye nagata sapanta you know trying to follow the in their footsteps okay so when was this told to vidur now imagine uh, that that time you know it is like treta yug uh, sorry like dwapar yug uh, so this is kal yug then there is dwapar yug so just the yuga before this okay so kal yuga started 5000 years back yeah around 5000 something uh, and then before that there was vapar yuga so imagine how much more respectful and considerate people were compared to 2023 right uh what during the draupadi vastraharan leela this is sent by uh, duryodhan to vidur by insulting him by downgrading grading him by denigrating him by hum- by humiliating him now when does he say this because vidura protests vidura protests very heavily when uh, duryodhan says okay now please uh, grab draupadi by the hair and bring her to the assembly all right and so if you are from the west and you have no idea of what i am talking then please watch my videos on the bhagavad gita and the mahabharata i am sure you will get to know more about it okay so 
Duryodhana represents uh, arrogance. He represents so many things, but primarily he represents arrogance. Okay, so arrogance then comes uh, cheating propensity, duplicity, then there is lust, then there is greed, you know, so excessive greed, excessive arrogance. This is what Duryodhana represents. So Duryodhana represents the bad form of Mars, okay? Not a good Mars. A good Mars is represented by uh, Bhima, but a bad Mars is represented by Duryodhan, where you, where when you know you cannot bring down somebody, you try to uh, use devious means to kill that person, to destroy that person, to destroy that person's reputation. Okay, so Duryodhan, as we know from the Mahabharata, was very famous for all this. Uh, all the schemes that he would hatch, okay, because deep down inside, uh, the Acharyas explained, he always knew that he could not defeat the Pandavas, but he would always boast, you know, oh, who are these Pandavas, you know, I'll just go and crush them, you know, but deep down inside, his gut feeling always said, you know, no, you are not good enough actually for them, and that was true, he was no match to the Pandavas, so therefore, he would always take the back route, okay, he would always... Uh, take the shortcut and he would do uh, wrong things like he would poison Bhima when he was a very uh, young child and then he did this Laksha Graha then we know he did this Dyut Sabha you know, this gambling match he organized and then of course it culminated at uh, the point where he tried to uh, disrobe Draupadi okay so that was the time his uh, fate was completely sealed by Lord Krishna and then that uh, finally culminated in his death in the Kurukshetra war at his death. So, we have to understand this action of Duryodhana, what he did to Vidur. Now see, he, Duryodhana is a person, he has done some karma. So, now because of that what happened, he has given Saturnian uh, uh, things to somebody, which means he has given insult to somebody. Okay, So, Saturn is that uh, feeling of insult uh, is that lowly feeling that you get when somebody insults you okay but what we have to understand is that Duryodhana had initiated this and because of that what happened he also I mean not because of just this action because of so many of his actions you see he was also uh, kind of killed uh, in not the best possible way by Bhima under the direction of Lord Krishna of course uh, you know, Bhima had hit him below his waist uh, in the mace fight in the Gada Yud, and that, uh, as per official rules of Gada Yud of mace fighting, is not uh, permitted. Of, of course, Acharyas give a lot of explanations why uh, Bhima did that, but ultimately, Lord Krishna wanted to display that if you cheat my devotees, I don't care what rule you have, I, I, I won't spare you. Okay, Shato Shatyam, which means if you deal with the uh, if you deal with simple people simply it is okay but if, if you have to deal with crooks you have to be cunning otherwise you know it, it won't work so Duryodhana is the pinnacle is he's like the peak he's like the worst uh, example of Saturn or Mars as you could say or a combination of both so he had all the bad martial traits okay now, of course, he had some good traits, you know, like he was a good mace fighter, a very expert mace fighter, you know, uh, not the best, of course. Uh, he was very skillful, of course. Now, <clears throat> nonetheless, he had learned from Balaramji and uh, he was very powerful indeed as a fighter, no doubt on it. Uh, but yeah, that does not mean he was a good person. Uh, that does not certainly mean that he was a good person. He was a dharmic person. No, he, he was way, way, way far from that. He always acted as an instrument of giving insult to somebody so if you are always going on behaving like Duryodhana if you are like bullying others you are insulting others you are letting others down uh, if you are like you know trampling on others you are <laughs> then what happens is at one point in your life when your time is bad or especially when your Saturn Mahadasha is there, is coming in your life or your Saturn Antardasha is coming in your life, that same karma will come back to you. Okay, so therefore, 
if you have a bad Saturn, which means your Saturn is not very well placed or nonetheless you are concerned if your Saturn is good, good or bad, either in D1 or D9 or D10, if that's your problem, then you have to understand that uh, I need to stop doing uh, things uh, because of which people feel ins in insulted. Okay, if, if you don't stop doing that, then what happens is, uh, irrespective of how your Saturn is, when Saturn's Dasha comes, because see, Saturn is the Lord of Karma, right? He's the uh, original Lord of the 10th house, which uh, 10th sign, which is Capricorn. So, whatever karmas you do through your uh, speech and through your actions, that karma will come back to you when Saturn Mahadasha comes. So, therefore, you have to understand that uh, putting others down will not take you anywhere okay it will only take you or maybe it will take you certainly somewhere yeah, and that is to hell <laughs> so therefore you need to understand that the more i do bad to others the more bad i will get in my life okay and if you feel that during your saturn dasha or any other bad planets dasha you are you faced terrible difficulties you know terrible consequences you know very big hardships then maybe it is most likely or rather certainly that in your past lifetimes you have done something terribly bad to somebody and that is why uh, these planets re are reflecting your bad karma and then that is coming back to you the universe is sending it back 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 right so therefore if you are worried about your uh, saturn then one thing you need to do is you should start appreciating others you should learn how to see the good in others you know have a gratitude journal and do all this on the contrary or if you are always uh, insulting others then you at least have to stop doing it okay and uh, the moment you stop then that is like you are in zero earlier it's minus now you are in zero and then you have to go positive which means you have to appreciate others you have to see the good you have to praise others, not superficially, not to get something, but genuine praise and appreciation is the need of the hour. And uh, when you do that, then you will see gradually your uh, Saturn is improving, okay? Uh, your Mars also will improve. But nonetheless, your Saturn and your 8th Lord will definitely improve because the 8th house is the house of insult, okay? So, yeah, these are very strong things, but uh, you need to understand that whatever is happening to you now is a product of your own actions in the past okay so the bhagavad gita the Srimad bhagavatam they give us detailed answers and explanations to karma what is karma how does it work and all i also have a lot of other videos on karma and other topics you know so if you want to watch them please go to my channel and type you know karma i am sure you will find out all right so <clears throat> And at the end, I will put a video here, there, somewhere on three types of karma. So if you have not watched it, you can please watch it, all right? And at the end, you got to understand that uh, if you want that there is change in your life, you got to take action in the right direction, okay? So many times people want to take a lot of action, but they don't know the right direction. It's like having a car, but not knowing where to go, okay? So just having the car is not good enough you also need to know where to drive so therefore we must read the bhagavad gita associate with the sadhus and other spiritual personalities in the weekends or in the weekday once in a quarter a visit to some holy place and you know take prasad by that what happens is we will become more conscious and developed as a person and more conscious about our actions okay so then what happens is we We'll be more mindful of the things that we do. We'll be more cautious, not only conscious, we'll also be cautious about things that we are do to others, okay? So therefore, if you feel that uh, you, you, you have no account of what you are doing to others, then it means that maybe your consciousness is very low. You are, you are primarily functioning at the animalistic level, which is not very good in the long run. So... Now, please understand this and uh, take your consciousness higher by doing spiritual practices and stop uh, bullying others and then you will see that your Saturn is improving and the Saturn Dasha or Mars Dasha is not that painful anymore. Or maybe it's painful enough in this life, but in your future lifetimes, you may not know this because you may not remember this thing, but 
it will certainly be less painful all right thank you so much for your patience and if you want to learn more about karma you will see the video here somewhere there god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you are new then please subscribe and hit the thumbs up if you like this video and if you want a consultation you can always go to my website also down in the description thank you